Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to film another haul video today. It's a bit of a collective haul. I've got items from H&M, Topshop, Pretty Little Thing, and I've got a bag purchase as well, which is quite exciting. Um, I thought I would film another haul because they're my favourite videos to watch. I love watching what other people buy because it makes me want to buy it. So yeah, I thought I would film another one for you today. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on my last video. Um, I really appreciate it. I was quite nervous, you can probably tell in the video, but yeah, thank you everyone for being so nice. I really appreciate it. So I've got quite a collection of items here. I've got some casual, some smart. It's just sort of a collection of things that I've wanted for quite a while but just haven't got around to buying. It's things that I think that I really need. <sighs> really need. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I've got. The first item is just a plain black blazer with some gold detailing on. This is from H&M and I got it in a size 10. Um, I just really liked it. It was really affordable as well. It was, well, it doesn't say the price, but I'm pretty sure it was £35. I've been looking for a black blazer for absolutely ages. I don't really know how I've got to this point in my life without one, to be honest. I feel like they're just such a wardrobe staple. You can wear them with t-shirt and jeans. You can wear them with dresses. You can wear them with trousers. You can literally wear a black blazer with anything. So I have my eye on one from House of Fits. The house of CB um, but it was a little out of my budget really so I just sort of bookmarked that one I thought I'll come back to you but I did find this one instead this is double breasted as you can see it's got these really nice gold buttons I do wish that they were actual buttons I mean this one is but I guess that's sort of reflected in the price but yeah, I like it. It's got the fastening on the sleeves as well. Uh, it looks slightly oversized because I got it in a size 10. I didn't want it to be drowning, but I didn't want it to be tight fitting either. So yeah, I'm excited to wear that. Like I said, I think I will wear it with pretty much everything. That was the only item I got from H&M. So moving on to Pretty Little Thing. Um, pretty Little Thing, I think, is my favourite online store. Yeah, definitely. It's my favourite place for fast fashion trend items, but also they do amazing basics, amazing loungewear. Their coats this season have been so good. I just feel like they just keep getting better. So I love Pretty Little Thing. That is my go-to website. If I'm, if I'm doing some online shopping and I need something, Pretty Little Thing will be the first the first website that I will check. I could honestly browse their new in for years. And I love the way it's all color coded, that is very satisfying for me. Anyway, first item from Pretty Little Thing. I'll take it off the hanger actually, hit myself in the face. So, I love things like this. So this is a pair of trousers. It's like a sort of, I would say, yeah like a brown camel color with these two huge pockets um and it's a sort of ribbed material as well i don't know if you can see that um and they're long and wide legged now they have these in three colors i think obviously this color i think they have a white and a gray maybe and if i'm honest i wanted to buy all three but i thought it would be sensible as i already have a pair of white and grey wide leg trousers I thought I would go for this colour but I love stuff like this it's so easy to wear so comfortable now I have actually already tried these on and they are a dream they fit so nicely they're really stretchy so this is the sort of thing that I will wear to Chinese buffet um but they're all they're a nice casual trouser without looking like pyjamas I think some some knitted loungewear like this, especially when it's wide leg, can just look like pyjamas, but these don't. They're great. I feel like you could also wear them with heels. Maybe not, I don't know, I'll have to try. Um, but yeah, even with a pair of trainers, chunky white trainers and a white t-shirt, 
or a white shirt I think would look really nice with these. I got them in a size small and yeah they're from Pretty Little Thing but I love them. I can't remember how much they were. Ooh, £30. So I think that's a good price for £30. The only thing is they are quite long. How tall am I? I'm about five foot four and a half I think. So and they drag on the floor which I don't mind I quite like that um, but if you don't then I don't really think you could actually get them taken up but yeah just something to bear in mind they are quite long as are most trousers from PLT like wide leg trousers especially always find they come up so long but I don't mind that so that's fine for me but yeah as I did before I will link everything in the description box for you now the next item also from PLT is something I have my eye on for absolutely ages I saw Sophia Tuxford post an Instagram picture in it and I just thought wow that looks like the comfiest thing ever but also quite chic so it's just this it's like sweatshirt material zip up almost like boiler suit it's elasticated at the waist um, it's got like these sweatshirt cuffs on the sleeves and then it's got a cuff bottom as well it's it basically just like trackies at the bottom and yeah I thought it was really nice on the model they had it completely done up so you could wear it like that but I just thought it looked a bit nicer undone but I thought this would be so nice for traveling on an aeroplane so I think I'm gonna wear this when I go on holiday yeah I love stuff like this I think it's so so nice and casual and just so easy to wear that's the thing I go for mostly now is stuff that's really easy to wear you can just chuck a pair of trainers on with this and you're good to go so yeah I'm really happy with this I think it will be so comfortable and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it also maybe I could wear it with maybe I could wear it with some boots I don't know maybe some nude some nude ankle boots might look quite nice to jazz it up a little bit but yeah I got this in a size 10 so it's gonna be slightly oversized because I don't like stuff like this to fit tight fitting um, and it was only £22 which I think is really really reasonable now the next item also from PLT is this half zip uh, cropped sweater so it looks like this um, I really like this I really like stuff like this I've seen these a lot around recently it reminds me a lot of Nikki Studios, something that would be in one of their collections, which I love. I love that sort of look. I think this will be so easy to wear with blue mum jeans or I've got a pair of stone cargo trousers, which I think it will look really nice with. The only thing is I'm just not a huge fan of the black zip. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's growing on me. I just had the idea of wearing it with lighter colours and I felt like the black... I don't know we'll see when it's on it might look fine but I yeah I really like stuff like this it feels like it might be quite warm as well it's a bit fleecy inside which is nice and this was only 18 pounds again which I think is really really good value I know I will wear this ever such a lot um, and I got it in a size small still on PLT the last clothing item I got from there was this long sleeved bodysuit I always look on PLT for bodysuits. I feel like they do the best ones. They fit me the best. Oh, I did get this in a size eight though and I'm wishing I got it in a size six because they do come up a little bit loose. They're not as tight fitting sometimes as I want them. So yeah, I wish I'd maybe sized down a little in this. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll be fine. But yeah, it's just this ribbed white long sleeved bodysuit with these nice little buttons at the front um it's not a thong bodysuit which is slightly annoying but this is a really thin material so i doubt there'll be any vpl or anything like that but yeah plt for bodysuits are the best in my opinion they have so many different colors so many different styles if you're in need of a bodysuit that's where you should go and this was only 12 pounds I feel like this looks a lot more expensive than 12 pounds some of them on there are like six pounds so it's definitely worth a look once again it's just all the neutrals isn't it um what else do I ah the last two things from 
PLT. Just two little accessories. So I picked up these earrings. I've never actually bought jewellery from PLT before, I don't think. But I really liked these earrings. Yeah, I thought they were really pretty. Statement earring. I thought they would look really good with the black blazer as well. I don't have anything like this, actually. I always wear these um, two gold hoops in my ears, I think. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I'd taken them out. Uh, in case anyone wants to know, the top one is from Misoma, and the bottom one, I think it's just from Ernest Jones. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I never, I never mix up my earrings, so I thought, I'm gonna. So I bought these ones. I just thought they were really nice. They were only six pounds. So I'm gonna give them a try with the black blazer because I feel like that will look really nice with the gold buttons. So lovely. That's some jingly as well. And I don't know who I think I am, but I bought a cap. I don't think it suits me. I wanted another hat to keep me warm. And I've got so many, whoa. <laughs> I wanted another hat, basically, to keep me warm. I've got so many bobble hats in every single colour, I'm actually just getting a bit sick of them. So I thought, play black cap. This was only £6, so I thought I would give it a go. That's it for all the items. I've got a hat here now. So that's it for all the items from PLT. I've got a couple left to show you from Topshop. So, on the, sub on the subject, on the subject of accessories, I bought myself a scarf. I don't actually own many scarves and the weather in England recently has actually been, what am I doing? Has been inexplicably cold. Uh, we had some snow last week and since then it just hasn't really warmed up properly. No, it has, it's been a struggle. So I just bought myself a scarf. Um, it was only 10 pounds. It was in the sale, I think, from Topshop was 14 and now 10. So I thought this will go with all my coats. This will keep my neck warm. Lovely. My next purchase from Topshop is something. Can you tell what it is? I have been looking for this for months months and months and months now you probably would have seen this coat on instagram because a lot of people have it and usually that does put me off an item when a lot of people have it but i just couldn't resist this it looks well i tell you i've tried it on it is so cozy so warm i don't actually have a coat like this I don't have one this colour, I don't have one this style. Yeah, I'm going to Budapest next week and I'm going to need it, so I bought it. So yeah, like I said, I've been looking for this coat for months. It's been sold out on the Topshop website basically in every single size for I don't know how long. I've been checking like a crazy woman two times a day. And then I just went into my local Topshop. The smallest Topshop ever, by the way, in Aylesbury Town, if anyone knows it, in Aylesbury. Um, don't know why I said that was pretty tall. Yeah, so I went in there and they had two size eights and a size ten. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this so much with everything. I'm probably gonna get oh god, have I already? Get foundation all over the gola. But oh well. I'll wear my scarf and then I won't. Useful. Yeah, it's got this nice little tortoise. Oh, it's, there's two buttons, I didn't see you. Two tortoise shell, tortoise shell buttons, pockets, it's a lovely coat and yeah I got it in a size 8 and it was £75 but I will wear you loads so it's worth it. Now my final item, it's a little Fendi bag. This was a really spontaneous purchase actually. Now I got this on eBay, I was not in the hunt for one, I, I hadn't researched them. I, ha I literally, the first time I looked for a vintage bag like this was when I bought this one. Sorry, camera cut out. Anyway, I was saying, I saw on someone's Instagram story, I can't remember for the life of me who it was. 
No, I can't. Um, someone was talking about that they'd found, it might have been a Fendi bag, it might have been a Prada one, I can't remember. They found it for £50, obviously a vintage one. And I just thought, oh, I'm going to have a look because if they're fairly reasonable, maybe I'll treat myself. And yeah, I literally just had a look on eBay, came across this. There were some more expensive ones on um, Vestiaire and on eBay as well. Slightly bigger in the brown print. This is actually navy, if you look up close. But I don't mind, it's, it's a dark navy, so uh, I wasn't really too fussed at this point. I actually got this one for £125, which I think is a really good price. I mean, it's, it is tiny. I can probably fit my phone in it and that's it. But I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself. I really like it. I really like the print. It is in quite good condition. There's a little bit of um a little bit of a stain up here, but you can't really see it. And the leather is actually in really good condition. There's not really any scratches or anything on that. Obviously it's worn because it's a vintage bag, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And you can take this strap off as well and use it as a little clutch which I really like I think I'll do that quite a lot so I think I will get my wear out of it and yeah I'm really pleased with that so that's the final item of the haul anyway that's it for this haul and for me buying clothes for the rest of the month because my bank balance quite frankly does not need the stress so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video you know what to do and please subscribe because it would make me really happy and leave a nice comment if you want all the items will be linked in the description and I'll put my sizes and stuff there just in case you need to know for comparison also I'll try and link some similar Fendi bags for around the same price that I paid did I mention how much I paid it was £125 in case I didn't mention that um so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye